Hello everyone, my name is Joe Scorso and channel is called the Ethernet Link and in today's video I'm going to be doing another Fun Connect strategy tutorial and we're going to go over some Python code and a strategy and just talk about it a little bit. And I'm going to do this in a different format from the other ones that I'm coding along with you guys. I'm just going to kind of talk about the code, show it, and provide a link to it in a Quant Connect discussion forum. And the reason I'm doing it, doing it like this is just to kind of make the video a little shorter, you know what I mean? I got things to do, sure you guys do as well. So I'm not gonna waste anyone's time and let's get into it. We can see our Quant Connect code here. Before we go into any of the code, I'm gonna explain the strategy and draw your attention to this up here. Because we've spoken about entropy on this channel a little bit, but um we're gonna talk about some more and go over our strategy. So before we get into the first exponent, because I spoke about this in detail, um let's go over entry. So let's go from top to bottom of this function. So base equals two, which is just you know assigning an integer, and then value counts equals np that unique self dot closing prices. This is just it's exactly that. It's a Python list of closing prices in a rolling in a rolling window, and then return counts equals true. Now, what is uh, np dot unique? Well, when you have return counts equals true. We construct the input, val input values from the unique values and the sum. Suppose we have a numpy array called a, and we say values counts equals np the unique a return counts equals two. Well, the values, the things that are in here is one, two, six, four, three. So one, two, three, four, six. Okay. And now the amount of times each one shows up. Is our count so we have one one we have one two three twos single three single four and single six that's a little, a little weird because we don't have a five but that's how it that's how it goes that's how it works so okay that's good because entropy is um, a measure of how many outcomes are possible so if we have a list like we just saw with more twos than anything else, it would make more sense for the amount of times a two to appear to increase relative to everything else. So let's get into entropy a little bit more because we're just going to use sci fi. Now, when we have entropy, when we, we do calculate the entropy with, um, with base two, and we have a numpy array of one half and one half, which is a fair coin. Our entropy is one, right? Because it's fifty-fifty. Basically, is what it means. So there's an entropy of one is what that equates to in this example. Now, when we have a bias coin, something less um, less equal, then entropy decreases, and the relative entropy between between a fair coin and a bias coin is uh, calculated like that. And then we have we can calculate the cross entropy as well. But we know that entropy is pretty much just a measure, it's a number of how many outcomes are possible, pretty much. How many different ways can this happen? And I like entropy a lot because it's that's just scratching the surface of what entropy really is in terms of numbers, in terms of physics. Like I think it's a great concept. And we're gonna get into how we use entropy to true in a minute, but we have this function that just calculates the entropy of our counts with base two. Next, our first exponent. I've talked about this in different videos, but just the first exponent equals quantity of log Rn over S over log N minus 0 0.5. So we have our prices, which is a numpy array of whatever, and then we have um, Rn equals the sum of the prices. S is standard deviation, and our first exponent is as follows. And we take the last number to consider the key numpy array that gets from this. So, um, also, um, let's go into the strategy first. And so, just to give you a little bit of stuff that we need, we need variables to call our contracts. This is a futures trading algorithm. We need a look back, and actually, do we use this? Yeah, we don't need. Of that because I tried to make it as best I could, and we're using a fixed number, so we can do the best. But yeah, we just have a look back of 
30, that is how many prices or how many gold bars we are storing in our gold window. So let's get into the code. Just doing some checking right here to make sure that we actually have data to collect from. And we're adding data from the symbol. We're adding our gold bars. If our window is not ready, then keep on doing it. Then we get our closing prices with this line of code right here. Bar that close for bar so price window. Next, let's get into the trading logic. So, also this is hourly data. I want to put that in there. And now this is um, kind of like a flip flopping algorithm. Like we're either long or short, and we just switch with the trend, pretty much. So long, long, so long, 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 short, 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 long, 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 uh, something like that. You know what I mean? And we don't have any set stop loss or take profit. It's just gonna oscillate with the price. So let's get into the logic of this. So our long and short conditions are, well, our long condition is that. Um, the Hearst exponent value is greater than 0 0.5 and the entropy value is greater than 2.6. I found that with this entropy, doing it like this is best because I don't know why it just likes it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just try and play by them. So, yeah, we just have um, self that Hearst exponent greater than 0 0.5 and self that entropy greater than 2.6. Now, if our portfolio is, inv is invested, we are invested in a short contract, and we're going to cover that and buy our, buy our long contract. And then if we're already in the long contract, then do nothing. And if we're not in either, um, then buy one. So again, yeah, that exact opposite for short. But um, our, short ex our short scenario is if the first exponent is less than 0 0.5, and HP is less than 2.6. And the reason that it works is because we're using self dot hold it, set holdings down there. We have twenty percent of the account value we are buying sell functions. But yeah, uh, this is our back testing range, and these are our inputs. And let's see how this would have traded from um, what was it, twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. Let's see how it would have done in that year. Let's see. Let's see. Would have done pretty well. They've done pretty good, and this is a phenomenal time to say that this is not a recommendation. Do not trade this code for yourself. I assume no responsibility. This video is for educational purposes only. Show the relationship, GP, and the Hurst exponent, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I'll still a Hurst exponent on there too because I do have plots. Let's make them all a little bigger. It's a little weird. I don't know, just out of the data and it calculates it. So, yeah, that makes sense. It still um, calculates it, it's just only plotting it up to this point. And so now, let's see back in here. Let's zoom in here a little bit so we can see it kind of wiggles around a little bit and just kind of moves like this. <laughs> And um, you see our Hearst exponent is constantly oscillating. And it's synced up pretty well with, with the market because, see, it's, it's going down, but it's still above 0 0.5. And then like right around there, we'll go below 0.5. And so that's pretty nice. That is, um, catching that low, come back above, catch it again. And um, yeah, it's pretty, I like it a lot because like from right here, this whole downtrend, it stays above 0 0.5, right? Above 0 0.5 the whole way. And then only right around here, it'll go below 0 0.5, which I think is awesome. Now, if we get rid of entropy and we throw up, we actually set it above, so it looks pretty. We throw up our exposure. We should see that we actually do short the market a little bit, which is great. Um, I'm gonna throw some shorts in there. Get nice and active. Everywhere we should, pretty much, which is awesome. Win rate of sixty-two percent. Uh, average win is one and a half percent larger than our average loss, fifty-eight times. But um, yeah, well, I, 
actually put I accidentally put EMA in there because I copied and pasted this from a um, Boulder algorithm. But yeah, that's the that's the code. If anybody has any suggestions on how they would change this, things they would add, um, please, please, please put a comment on the discussion. I'm not here to sit on a high horse. Please, um, this is something that I use in my own head whenever I want to, excuse my French, call bullshit on something. I curse on this channel before. But whenever I want to call bullshit on something, is um, we use alternating currents. We don't use direct current. And in the 1800s, Nikola Tesla was like, you guys have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. We need to use AC. And Ray was like, nope, you're a jackass, you need to use DC. And Tesla was like, okay, man, you, you keep going, you figure it out. That was a Scarface reference, all right, before anybody gets mad at me. It's just Scarface, I love that movie. But everybody, Tesla was just like, okay, guys, like, do whatever you want, I'm not responsible. And later on, everybody was like, oh shit, Tesla was right. And Tesla was about it all along. He is not afraid to call bullshit. So don't be afraid to call bullshit, and don't be afraid to switch up the scenarios. Where we have a downtrending market and entropy um, is, 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 is lower too. We have a downtrending market and downtrending entropy. Short that help. You understand me? Get active. Get after it. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment on the Quantum X discussion forum. Please drop, drop a follow on the Twitter. Drop a follow on the Substack. And um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. 12 minutes saving your time but um yeah i'll see you guys see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed this video and uh yeah my name is joe scorsell and channel is called ethernet wave have a good day